Back to Madison now and Charles, there is a lot of debate back and forth today in the Senate over the state budget. Yeah, busy day here. 33 state senators making their final pitch on a two-year budget that will impact anyone who lives, works, or goes to school in Wisconsin. Senate Republicans control the majority and believe lowering taxes will help businesses grow. We have a long way to reconcile our current reality that we still have high tax rates. But Democrats worry that efforts by Republicans to rewrite Governor Evers' budget misses the mark on multiple issues. Some of the things that could have not only addressed the issues that are facing my community, but other communities of color as well. The budget making its way through the Senate has already passed the assembly with four Democrats voting for it. It will be back on Governor Evers' desk soon. His office has one of the strongest veto pens in the nation. To invest in our people. Milwaukee Senate Democrat Lena Taylor says despite billions in COVID relief money for public schools to help with pandemic related expenses, the state budget falls short of helping schools with other needs. A budget is really a sense of our priority. And if we do not prioritize addressing special education and doing it at a time when there's an influx of dollars so that we can help move our systems to close the achievement gaps. But Brookfield Senate Republican Dale Coenga says the budget will help get the state and taxpayers pass the pandemic. Generally speaking, this is a good budget. I mean, middle class families see about $1,000 in relief. Schools are going to have record revenue, big increases for mental health and health care in general. So overall, I'm happy with the budget and I'm optimistic the government will sign it. But Charles, I'm wondering how much does this budget compare to what Governor Evers proposed? Yeah, Katie, there are some key differences. Let's take a look at them. Republicans want to cut more than $3 billion in income and property taxes, while Governor Evers wants to legalize marijuana. The GOP looking to end the tuition freeze in the UW system, and the governor looking to expand Medicaid. And school funding also comes, down, comes into play here. Republicans want to spend an additional $128 million for K through 12 funding, while Governor Evers planned it would provide an additional $1.6 billion. We'll keep an eye on a final vote here in the Senate. Now, Wisconsin also set to benefit from President Biden's compromise with Republicans on a $1.2 trillion infrastructure deal. I recently caught up with Labor Secretary Marty Walsh about the plan, and I literally had to pull over to the side of the road to get this interview on Zoom. Last time we were together, uh, you were in Milwaukee and you were talking about lead lateral. So with the new deal, is there still going to be money for lead laterals? Yeah, there, there is. And, and the president wanted to be very clear on that to make sure that uh, we, we bring clean drinking water to people in this country, all across this country. I know it's a stripped down version of the original plan, but is there the same amount of money, less money? than what we originally thought uh, a few weeks ago? I think the, the overall package is about $1.2 trillion. Uh, when we talk about lead pipes, it, it accomplishes what we want to accomplish, that on broadband replacing. Uh, Secretary, where do you think the game changer here, though, is for uh, when it comes to infrastructure, when it comes to roads, when it comes to bridges, when it comes to that traditional infrastructure that we think about? You know, I, I think that there is a group of senators, Republicans and Democrats, that, that uh, understand and trust President Biden, and they were able to sit in a room. Uh, they were able to work out a, a negotiated deal. Now, Republican Senator Ron Johnson released this statement saying, a fiscally responsible infrastructure bill would use the $700 billion of COVID relief spending that isn't spent in this fiscal year and repurpose that amount for real infrastructure, not new entitlements.